Hi. Today's video is about a file processing use case. It's something that comes, um, comes back very often. And uh, to process files, we need uh, this connector, text extractor. So it's a new connector. If it's not available in the store, you can find it in Mantis as usual. And the way it works is um, by providing a file uh, and we'll see the kind of uh, files that are supported. The connector will be able to extract the metadata of the file. So basically, uh, file owner, uh, different timestamps, etc., and also uh, convert any uh, text within the file or extract any text within the file, and even uh, with some um, file types having the ability to format the extracted text in HTML. So the use case today is about uh, taking a file uh, extracting uh, the text from that file and presenting it in a, um, a new preview field that we will create uh, from uh, an indicator or an attachment and also extract all the indicators of compromise and create them and then associate them with the relevant uh, or the related records. To start with, uh, we'll need to create the new field. So we go to settings, modules, Let's go to indicators and here we add a new field. We'll call it file preview, right? File preview. The type should be text and then the subtype should be HTML because uh, of the HTML output we get from the connector, right? We apply. And then we save. Once done, we publish all modules. So the modifications will, uh, will be stored. Next, we need to uh, modify the um, indicators uh, template to uh, accommodate this newly created uh, field. So we go to uh, indicators. And let's modify this template here. Um, a good place to put the preview uh, field would be uh, as one of these uh, tabs. So we will add a new tab. We'll call it preview or file preview. All right. And then we will add the file, uh, the field that we just uh, created. So we can create an editable, editable form group in which we select the newly created uh, field, which is field preview. All right, save. We save and apply. To populate the newly created uh, field, we can use the uh, connect the playbook that comes with uh, the connector. So we go to playbooks and then text extractor collection in which we can find the extract and process text from file. The workflow starts by checking whether the uh, required field exists in the indicator module. So it's the file preview field we created earlier. And then uh, we have a configuration uh, step where we collect the whitelisted indicators. We get that from the global variables that we can set and we can see as well uh, right here. So whenever an indicator matches any of these values, it will be ignored. And then uh, we have the uh, extraction itself where we use the step from the uh, text extractor uh, connector. So we provide the IRI of, uh, of the file and we decide whether the output, the extracted text will be formatted in HTML or in plain text. In this case, uh, we selected HTML because uh, we want to display it as a preview within the indicator module itself. right? And then uh, we format uh, as well the metadata uh, in an HTML table to be displayed as part of the uh, part of the preview, and finally we whitelist uh, the indicators that are matching any of our uh, global variables, and then we create whatever is left from uh, from the list which is which is not matching any whitelisted uh, entry, and finally we update the um, we update our indicator 
more specifically the file preview uh, field with both the metadata uh, and the file preview itself that we got from the um, text, uh, the extract text um, uh, step. All right, and uh, now we are ready to put this uh, to a test. So we go to the indicator module where we have this file. We have um, the template changed, as you saw earlier in the video. And this is where we run our playbook. We can track the execution in the logs. So you can see step by step uh, what's happening and what's the uh, output of each individual step. Uh, once it's completed uh, successfully, as you can see here, it will populate um, this, um, this field. And as you can see, we have both uh, metadata and the a preview of the Excel file itself. At the same time, the playbook would have um, generated uh, the associated um, indicators from this file. So as you can see here, we have a host, we have a hash uh, and a URL, uh, which were extracted from, uh, from this Excel uh, file and then associated with, uh, with the indicator itself. Finally, we can check what formats are supported uh, in this uh, connector. So we go to Playbooks. We get the uh, collection of this specific, the sample uh, playbooks, playbooks of this uh, connector. And then we have this get backend config details. We run the playbook and this should tell us what uh, formats are supported. So in the MIME type, you can see here over uh, 1500 uh, types that are supported. So most of the commonly used uh, files would be part of the supported um, file types. All right, so uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.